Hello, welcome back to Patrick's Parabox. It's me, your boy, back at it with another man. I should do something else right now recording episode. I should do something else right now. However, the siren song of Patrick's Parabox drags me back in despite myself. Hope you're doing well, enjoying the series. I. I've said it. Oh, I'm not. <laughs> right, and so you can possess walls, but walls aren't win conditions. It's very cool. Uh, I've said it a few times now. Let's see here. We can do. It's gonna take. Uh, it's gonna be a lot of let's sees and 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 haw. And I feel in the start here. This is a cool mechanic that I would not have thought of. But anyway, why is this not victory? I'm guessing there's a square under the wall. Yeah. I got it. Oh, this is interesting. You know what? I would not have thought it works like this. You can enter the wall... Oh, because it's a wall. Right. So you can enter the wall as Patrick from anywhere, but you have to enter Patrick as a wall. Gotcha. Good little bit of info to learn there. One moment, I must clear my throat. So, I've been thinking that... Okay, so we could do a little... We can kind of, like, roll around basically like this. And then push Patrick up against the wall. Yeah. I've been... Oh. Right. Right, yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Yep, mm hmm that is correct. Indeed. So you gotta go in from top to get the wall where we want it to be. Gotcha. I've been thinking I might uh, try to do more Patrick's Parabox type content where I just sit here and play a game that isn't Monster Train. Like something that's a little more sequential, I guess, is what I want to call it. Because that's what Patrick's Parabox is. This is something that I'm going to sit down and I'm probably going to play for, like... Hmm... I think that's probably, like, 20 hours total. That's maybe a little long. This is probably more of a 10-hour game. Let me reset. Okay, so... Ultimately... I need to get us a, a wall here. I think that there's a little trick we're going to be playing here. Which is a little rotational play. Because we can do this, then we could go like this, right? And now we've moved the walls over, and I think that if I extrapolate this out a little further, you could then move like this, right? And I think that I was already here. Sorry, the, the throat needs much clearing, I suppose. Uh, so, where am I? Where, where am I? Where am I? What's, so the ultimate goal is I need to be here, and I need to have a wall positioned here. But I don't need this to be here right now. So let's follow a new hypothesis, which is I believe I'm going to need to come at this from the top. Right. And so moving a wall doesn't matter unless I can push into Patrick. I'm going to assume that I need to actually... I can't push this green up like that, never mind. If you push this against the wall, it's stuck. So I take that back. Okay, but we can do a little bit of tricking here. And now we have one of the walls where I think it should go, right? And we can come in here from below. I actually want to move... I'm gonna move green out of the way. Because what if I come at this from over here? And then I can set up like this. Yeah, yeah. And then you move the wall out and you return to Patrick. That was cool. I don't know if I needed to do that the way that I did that, but I did it. So that was one of those ones where I just kind of solved the level. I, I just did stuff until it worked pretty much. You you can wow you can go into the go into the sub levels as the wall. Okay, so we're going to use that to get this yellow boy out. I assume. Indeed. Uh, however, this comes with its own issue, which is once you get yellow boy out, yellow Patrick, 
uh, the green is stuck, indeed. So, what can I do? I can, I can rotate over like this, right? And then I can place a wall here so that I can grab Yellow Boy without locking my level. Cool. Yeah, again, this one's kind of intuitive with the way that you move around the walls. It's very hard for me to describe, though. I feel that's, uh, hey, this looks familiar. It's kind of a common theme in Patrick, I fear, is that it's a little hard to describe why what I'm doing is going to work. Because I just kind of start pressing buttons and moving things around and going, yep, or nope. So ultimate goal here is going to be this position. Indeed. So let's begin operating. I'm going to imagine we have to move down. We're actually pretty close already. Just one tile away. So I need Patrick to be... I need him to be below me, right? Because you can't get Patrick to a place where he's against a wall from here or here. Or I guess actually, yeah, you can. Hang on, no, this is even easier than Patrick needs to be below me. Just set it up with the level, right? Or the goal. Yeah, never mind. Got it. That's the sort of level that I could sit there and be stuck on for, like, 15 minutes if I just go down that wrong line of reasoning, though. And I stay on it. That one was close. Uh, the, the question here is how do we become red? That is the that is the question mark. How do we become the red piece? An interesting question. I can do mm-hmm. Kind of messing around with pieces here and seeing what happens. Let me reset. So I could do this. Go in. I love that sound effect it plays when you do that too. Oh, you need to push the wall to the edge. I see. I see. I see. I see. I see. I see it now. Gotcha. You need so. Again, right there, I went through like three steps of reasoning very quickly. So the goal here is so you can you can. Stop yourself from entering by having a wall in the way, but if the wall's in the way, you become the wall. So therefore, uh, the final piece of reasoning here is push this bad boy up against the wall, bring in... I feel like I actually did some of the heavy lifting already by uh, getting both of the walls in. I feel like that was not supremely obvious. So you need to play, you place a wall here, and then you place a block in it, and then you can become the red block, because you can't become the yellow block. So you can become the level and finish, because you, you're not allowed to be the yellow block. Okay. So this is probably our goal state right here. What's stopping me from doing this? Well, that one's obvious, isn't it? What's stopping me from doing this is it gets pushed in. What's stopping me from doing this it doesn't work either. Close, though. Like, surprisingly close. So, I assume you're going to need to use the walls to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, this one this one also appears pretty easy. At the... And it doesn't matter which way you do this. I guess the hard part of this is rotating into the wall. Or, yeah, rotating into the section I want to be in, right? So we need a wall at the top of light green and a wall at the bottom of dark green and those will allow you to not push in. And setting up these walls, not too hard to do to be honest with you. It just kind of makes sense. And in these smaller sub-levels, actually moving around in these is not that hard. You just kind of rotate and you can go in here and there you go. Easy peasy, nothing too hard to wrap your head around I don't feel. The 
The coughs? It's not really a cough, it's just I have to clear my throat. It's rather devious, though. Okay, so we got... One below. How do you solve this? You have to get... A... No, but the wall can't act as the holder. Oh! So you have to eat the level by using the wall, right? You have to eat... One of these has to hold the level. I... Yeah. You got me. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, first we have to eat... Uh, which one is... Are they both recursive? Are these both recursive? They are both recursive. Okay. So, first and foremost, step one is we have to place one of them like this, I think? No, that is not first and foremost. That is finally. First and foremost, we have to... We have to move our walls. I'm gonna... I'm gonna do it this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Because I'm already over here. I don't think it matters which way. We eat that. Ah, uh, but then the problem is how do you get it out? That is a great question, actually. Extremely good question. How do you get this out? I can come in over there, and I can come in from below. And Patrick does not do anything here. Patrick is inert. He is just... This is what you do at the end. Okay. So how do I... If you're with me, the question here is pretty simple. I can do... I can do this, right? I can do what is uh, presumably step one. Or perhaps in this case it's step two. You can't push things out. And we have this, but again, once you do this, it's stuck. Oh, uh, you just have to go... No, no, no. Cause I'm wrong, but I'm going to perform the operation anyway. Now oh, the operation's a waste of my time. Yeah. I can't even put into words what I was thinking there. It's like, what if I did it left and then I just pushed in from above? But no matter what you do, these two pieces interlock in such a way where they are uh, broken, right? Like, you can't push one into the other and then still access the goal spot. That's correct. That definitely does not count as covering it up either. However, maybe that gives me an idea. I don't think that gives me an idea. <laughs> I don't think so. Okay, so. I think it's here is the middle. Now let's consider this. Yeah. This does appear to me to be a dead end. I don't think there's any sort of rotation we can do, or anything of that nature. So, step one has to be putting one of the levels into one of these. Now, I'm just going to operate in this way, and I'm going to do this even though I don't think it should make a difference. Yeah, we have the same problem. I can't access this piece. Indeed. So, what am I meant to do here? I have, so I have the two pieces, right? This is a two-piece puzzle, I feel. Step one, fill up this bad boy. But how could I get it out from there now? I must be missing something obvious, right? Like, surely... Surely it's something simple. 
I can't utilize Patrick, that's for sure. I'm not meant to use Patrick for this. And I can't eat this. So my, my next thought, my next thought, I guess what I often do in these, by the way, is I'll have an idea and then I will disregard it because I go, no, I don't think that's it. And then it's just, I don't even explore it and I'm just stuck for a while. Here's my next thought. Maybe I can do both of these steps at once. Somehow. How would you do that? And I think the answer is you cannot. I don't really see a way you would be able to do that. Go up there. Okay, so let's go to... Go to a next idea, which is... What if we were to do... We place this here. What if I am meant to... I could push in. I don't know what I would do with this idea though, right? Let's just create something we can make here. Let's do something, let's do a pattern here that we can do simply because we can do it. It doesn't do anything. Indeed. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I can go in, but nothing happens. I'm really stuck. I don't know what to do here. This one's got me. Let's start fresh, and let me take a moment. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a drink. And we're gonna come at this one with a fresh eye. So... Often I find when I get stuck on a puzzle in this game, it helps me to look at it, basically. Just like start fresh, talk out the goals, and often something will come to me. So, what do we need? Let's start very simply. What do I need? I need to fill, and don't, no, no preconceived notions of putting like a level in or something like this. I need to place a block into each of these two green uh, recesses. One block in each of these. Oh. Oh, it's just both levels. Isn't it? I was so stuck on having to use... I was so stuck on having to use the green into itself. It's just both levels, right? This is not that hard. This is definitely one of the ones where I just, I, I started, and that, that's what I was saying. Sometimes I start these with this preconceived notion of how I'm supposed to do the level, and I just completely miss the answer because what my preconceived notion is, is wrong. I started that level with the belief that I had to have a green inside of a green, right? And that was wrong. And that is why I got stuck there for probably like 10 minutes, five or 10 minutes of just thinking, and you probably saw that very early and were just watching me get stuck on that and going, man. Great example of why you really have to, sometimes you just have to reset from the beginning and start fresh mentally. Imagine we're going to end with something like this, but no, that can't be it because I, I need two boxes. I need two boxes in... Like this, yeah, so I need both of these. And so I need to be able to become Patrick here. That actually, this one seems pretty easy. I need to have a wall on the right, and then I can just go... That's not quite easy, is it? Because I need to be able to become Patrick here. Let me, let me illustrate better. I need to be able to come Patrick here, which means that I need to have the wall on the left, right? Probably something like this. You hold. This doesn't seem right because it's just going to push in, right? Yeah. Indeed. Uh, 
I could do it. This doesn't seem right. I think that I was correct initially with this idea. I could also do it like this, maybe. Oh, I, maybe I meant to do it like this. Oh. No, that doesn't work. Oh, but what about... You check this out, check this out, check this out. What about this? Ah, it's a cycle. I thought this might work because Patrick wouldn't be able to technically go left because the wall is there, but that was incorrect. It's just a cycle. Makes sense as well. I, it's worth a shot. Yeah, making a cycle here doesn't help me. I need to be able to become Patrick in this moment, right? I am Patrick. I am Wall. And first and foremost, first thing I should check here. Uh, from this position, is there any difference or is this level symmetrical? And I believe the answer is this level is symmetrical. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so the level's symmetrical, so there should be no meaning to the side that I utilize. However, it's not necessarily the case. Ultimate goal was to be able to move left here. Oh, hey, I see. <laughs> in that in that moment, I moved left there, and I be and I went up against that wall, and I went, oh, gotcha. Yep, got it. Mm-hmm. That makes sense. Just fuck around with the level until you find out. Cool. Same concept. What's different here? Oh, the location of the exit is different. So I need to be Patrick, or I need to become Patrick in this position now. Is this the same? No, it's not the same. It's not the same because. Hmm. So it's not the same because uh, if you if you place the level down here. Hold. You place the level here. This goes here. Uh, like, how do you how do you reach Patrick from here? The answer is you don't. Well, I guess. Oh, I can walk out of the level, right? Is that what I'm meant to do? I can walk out. Indeed. But. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That doesn't help me either. I remember. Remember, the goal here is to leave a wall in this position. So from this point, I need to be able to walk one tile and become Patrick. From, from, from this position, I need to be able to move one space up, right, down, or left, and I need to be Patrick. So how do, how do we do that? We have four locations, more than four locations, I suppose, for Patrick, because it could be another situation where I'm meant to set up something like... But no, it's actually not. I can't just walk off of the map like I did before, can I? Maybe I can. Hold on. What if it's like... And then I would want to... I could walk... If I wanted to walk down, I could... The problem with walking down, I think that this has to go left and the green piece is going to need to play into it. Something like this, I'm thinking. But then this needs to be a wall. And it's not a wall, so this is just going to be a cycle. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is just going to be a cycle right here that I have created. So we could do it over here. We could set up this same idea here. I mean, it doesn't really make sense like this, does it? This is what we did on the last level. I have done here what I did on the last level. Now, what does this do for me? Great question, let's find out. I'm going to make not the assumption that this does nothing and I'm going to take a look. Mm -hmm. I can do this. I can place Patrick at the top. Moving Patrick around is no problem. I don't care to move Patrick around. Reset. Let me, let me back up one. The problem is just... 
the level is stuck on the left edge right now. Can't get it back. I don't feel like there's a whole lot of use to this. So, let's continue. I guess, uh, you know what I just noticed? The wall does not have to be here. It could be any of... No, it does have to be here. It has to be here so that I can place the level here and enter it. That is the, that is the catch. I believe. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. It has to be... Uh, the wall has to be below. I need to be able to get to the exit. That's correct. So how do I move one from this position and be Patrick? Well, let's look around. And set like this. How could I push up from here and be Patrick? I can easily set the wall to be in a lot of places, right? So I would need to be right here. I have to be right here, and I need to be able to move left one. I almost, I almost see this. I'm like, I'm really close to seeing this, I think. Yeah, okay, I got it. This goes here, like, on the with the left being the wall. Patrick goes here, and that puts the wall in the correct position. I was correct when I said I almost see it. I did, in fact, almost see it. And then I saw it. Cool. Good level. Again, another one. A lot. I, I like these open levels more. They're a little more challenging, and it's definitely more of a don't fool yourself sort of situation here. Hmm interesting uh this lets you get green boy out the exit is that just the level it is not just the level not yet not yet because you got to get the wall back i think you can do you do it like this right you can replace the wall now that you got green out like so. And now we're Patrick. There you go. That one's cool. Nothing too crazy on that one. Only two more to go. Gonna be... Oh, I thought this was gonna be a quick episode, but no, it's gonna be 30 minutes. I've been, I've been getting a little bit... A little bit got in here. We got a copier. We got a copier. Yeah, okay. So what do I need to do? I need to gather these. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming I need to move these walls over here. Right, like, it does, it feels like a reasonable assumption to make. again I apologize how do I how do I become a wall on the corner well let's see I can place the wall I mean, if I could place the wall here we wouldn't have an issue would we I mean I suppose it shouldn't be that hard actually because I just do we have two walls which makes it much easier to get around indeed all right second. What the hell am I doing? Alright, great, great follow-up question here. Why did I do this? Yeah, it's a great question. I don't know actually why I did that. I have no clue why I did that. Let's try... I don't even... I don't know if this is what I am supposed to do, but let's try doing this. Oh yeah. And you get the copier out first. And then what? How do I get the main level out now. How do I- do I have to get the main level out first? I bet I have to get the main level out first. That's not right, let's go up. 
Maybe, maybe not. So the, the question here, it's very easy to get one level out. The question here has become, how do I get both levels out? What happens if you do this? Nothing particularly interesting. Is there a reason I want to be Patrick while doing this? I'm not sure. Let's try, let me try getting the copier out again, because I feel like getting the copier out is better. Don't ask me why, I just feel it. Oh, yeah, because if you get the copier out, then you can eat this level, I bet. Oh, but this doesn't help me, does it? Well, let's see, what happens if... I assume I know what, I mean, I'm pretty sure I know what happens if I place a wall here. The answer should be nothing. Oh. It's not what I expected, actually. I become the wall. Hmm. The question remains. How do I get this blue piece out? Oh, you probably just push it out, don't you? Yeah, I think that I have made this harder than it needs to be. I also think that I'm actually meant to get the main one out first. Yeah, I definitely did make this harder than it needs to be. You just... You get the main level out first, like this. And you just push out the... you push out the copier. Right? Yeah. I did, in fact, make this much harder than it needed to be. Ah, Patrick. Patrick! Oh my god, my controller, I'm losing my mind. I blame the controller, it's me. My D-pad motion is bad. Oh no. Ah, uh, so... Wait, what the fuck? What is this? <laughs> what? Okay, so... What does the colon mean? This is where Patrick needs to be. Am I able to move something on three? Is that it? Oh! The colon means that you can become it. I see. So I can become two over here. And I can become three over here. So, I need to, I need to move two over to here, is one, okay, so the hashtag that I am in one is a wall, gotcha. So I can become, I can become whatever I want easily with this. Okay, I'm starting to see it. So I need to get two or three onto the dash. I feel... I mean, it has to be, it has to be three, right? Because you can't... Maybe you can. Hmm. I feel it has to be three because... How am I gonna push two out, right? Because it's clearly... Maybe not clearly. Let's not use the, the, the clearly word here. If I push two into a, the bottom right corner, if two ever goes to the right side, you can't possess two anymore. That's that's what you gotta know. Okay, this is making sense. And I can possess two and then possess three and hop on the two. There you go. There you go. Oh my god, you can't win like this because you're the wall! Ugh. Okay. So, it actually has to be three and you have to possess two. Gotcha. Has to be three on here and then you have to possess two. Well, let's restart. 
They got me. They got me good. I forgot I was the wall, man. I thought I had that shit. I was like, oh yeah, I got it. Nice and easy. Let's go. No, let's not go. The only place I'm going is back to the start. An enter two for whatever that's worth. I can just push three onto here. But then I have to... Oh, yeah. No? Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Become two. Become the hashtag. I think I need to do what I just did, but instead... This is, again, my own personal bias. I messed up my movement. Oh, it eats three, because you can't enter from that side, you freaking bozo. Not you, me. I'm the bozo. So, I need to enter three from the top or bottom, which means that I need to place the wall here. But how do I possess two from here? Great question. I have no idea. Okay, I need to be... A, so, final final answer here. This is the final final look. Three has to be in this position. And two has to be able to enter three from the top or bottom, which means that the wall has to be here or here. Yes, all of that is correct. How do I do that? How do I get the wall here, three here, and the possession? I assume we have to do something on the inside here now, but... Because I can, I can set it up with two to the left or right. But you, you have to end this possessing two. Have to. There is no choice. I can place two here. I can place two here. So I can place the wall here, 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 here. I cannot put it here. I can also... I don't believe I can put it here. Uh, so I have to place the wall where I want it to be with three, perhaps. Oh, yeah, that puts me inside of three, which I do not want. This one's tough. I knew that they were eventually going to pull some shit like this on me, though, and make me really put the brain together to figure out what the hell I'm meant to do. I knew that this was an inevitability. This doesn't do anything. Okay. One more time, one more time. I can... I can place two here. It's not place two, it's place three. Three has to be here, and then I have to be able to possess two and enter three. I possess two, I enter three from the top, which means I need the wall to be here, or top I need the wall to be here, bottom I need the wall to be here. Can I place the wall here and then possess two? Place the wall here, possess two. How would I do it? How would I do it? I feel like this is so easy if I can actually look at it, but the... Like, this layout fucks me up. But it shouldn't, right? It should not be hard, but it is. I think that I have to do... I think that I have to do this, and then... No, this isn't quite right. Now you just walk in and do it, yeah. I can place two here, no problem. Uh, I think that this is part of the answer. So, I want to... As the wall, I want to walk out of the top of two. This is this doesn't seem right, actually. What I was about to say does not seem correct. I was thinking, next thought, what if I was able to place a wall in three and then enter two? But that does not seem doable either. I 
can't go in from the left or the right. I can possess three. So let's let's follow this, I guess. Nah, it just eats three. Hmm. But I can never possess two if it's like this. True. I can come in here and put three out. And if I could just possess two. But I can't, right? There's no... This position is not it. Of course this is not it. Maybe then... We can do this. We can grab two, place it here, we can place three here, no, that's not right, other way. We can place three here, grab two, can I even do this? Hold on, can I get two to here? There must be a way, surely I can get two here. I just, I, yeah, I use three. It is very strange how this level uh, operates. Like, absolutely odd. What the hell am I trying to do? Like, what? how do I get to here? Not here. Here. Yeah. Then I grab three. Uh-huh. No, I'm not getting it out. This two's in the way. Let me move two over one. Grab the wall. Bring this down. Two goes over one. I feel like I made this much harder than it needed to be. Why didn't I just move them around naturally? I have no idea. When all this does is let me walk into two. This doesn't even let me possess two. I just get to go into it. This doesn't help me at all. I did all of this for nothing. Alright, this level's getting me a little ticked off, I'm gonna be honest with you here. This level's getting me a little heated. Let's think about this again. I've done this one in my head and out loud from the start multiple times. I cannot, so I have to be able to enter three as two. That's the end game. I can only possess two from the left. You cannot possess two from above or from the left, or from the bottom. So I have to be able to possess two with two against a wall to the left. Possessing two does not seem that difficult. I can push three here, no problem. I can possess two, I can move it here. I cannot get the wall here. Because if I place two... If I place two here, similarly, I cannot... I, similarly, similarly, I cannot do this, right? I cannot enter, because you enter three as well. Three, you can enter from the left or right. So I have to do, so surely then, surely, after doing some consideration here, the answer must be something like this, right? The answer has to be a combination where I am because I need the wall, I need the wall here. I can't put the wall elsewhere in the in the rotation. I could set it up with the wall here, but then there's no point to doing this. This doesn't make any sense to do. I can possess two here, I can push the wall over. None of this matters. All that matters right now is figuring out a way to get the wall in this position or this position. Perhaps that is not correct. Because it seems to me, the longer that I look at this, What? Okay. Yeah, sure. You know what? Don't worry about it. That's the solution. Uh, sure. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Of course. I was about to go on an extremely long uh, tangent there to just run down a bunch of different ideas I had to solve that level. But, yeah. I, I will say, if I'm gonna knock any points off of Patrick's, these levels I don't really like. I, I think that... The first time I saw it, I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. But every time I have to do one of these, I just kind of go, oh, oh no. 
What's up? Infinite Exit is this one. Let's take a look. Are you, is this a break recursion level set? to go bottom and when you go left oh yeah this is a break recursion level set cool i i had a feeling we were going to do this eventually i was kind of looking forward to it push this out and then you can just get all of these out because you got infinity out there oh no you can't you gotta push two out first i'm only gonna this is the last one i swear as this is cool I, was, I knew i was waiting for this i knew we were gonna do some sort of something something eventually Alright, I'm going to exit, because this episode is very long, but <laughs> I got extremely stuck. Alright, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave me a like. Subscribe if you want to see more. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.